News and first to expand weekday new news. Channel 3, we're building our station around you. People who change their sex to have sex with the same sex. Next, Donahue. Hi there, Bonnie. Uh, Bradley Grist here. From the elevator. <laughs> you may not remember me, but I read your name tag on your briefcase. I know you're up here from Little Rock. I just want to give you a big, big Washington howdy. <laughs> well, we can take a little drive in the country tomorrow Put the sob on cruise control Kind of let nature take its course <laughs> Oh, damn I hate it when the message tape runs out <laughs> Bonnie Bradley, drive country tomorrow Sob, cruise control, nature Love you as a person, want your body, bye <laughs> You make my skin crawl in your dreams. <laughs> there, too. Sometimes you can't see what gets into your clothes, but you can smell it. The morning exercise routine. A day out on the lake. And to get those odors out better, there's new gain with bleach. It has odor-removing bleach. A color-safe bleach that does more than brighten and whiten. It removes deep-down odors for clothes so clean they smell like they were dried in the sunshine. They're sunshine clean. New game with odor-removing bleach. There's no clean like sunshine clean. This is a MasterCard, okay? Sure, no card is more accepted on the planet, but it doesn't make you special. Well, actually, maybe it does. I mean, right now, the Master Values program can save you up to 25% on all kinds of stuff, and even cash can't do that. You just get the Master Values coupon thingy from your statement, go to one of the stores on the list, and say, hey, I got a MasterCard, how about a deal? And they'll say, for you, no problem. So I guess MasterCard really does mean you're special. Just don't let it go to your head. MasterCard, it's more than a credit card, it's smart money. She hasn't seen Richard in months. She's almost forgotten his smile. Her train is four hours late. Her name is Alyssa. And she's constipated. Get over it. Get X-Lax. It's a pill, it's gentle, and it works. Get X-Lax. Get regular. They were normal parents struggling to find answers. Why should I listen to you? Because I'm your mother. But one question became their nightmare. Did their daughter commit murder? I'm not running away. I didn't do it. Married with Children's Katie Segal. Ellie Law's Alan Rachins battling to save the child they love. She says she's innocent. NBC Monday. Yes, ma'am. Right away. Doggone it! Try loosening up your grip a little, Pop. Oh, by the way, President Clinton is on line one. Oh, great. I keep him waiting while I practice my stupid putting. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Senator. I'll put the President on. Uh, are you there, Bill? <laughs> Hello, Mr. President. I guess you're calling about our housewarming gift, huh? I just love it, Bill. Hillary potted a fern in it yesterday. <laughs> Bill, I'll tell you what I, I'm calling you about. I need a favor. Name it. Well, I know that you've heard I'm trying to cut down on the White House executive staff. Well, I was hoping you guys in Congress would do the same, at least 10%. Oh, sir, we've already started making the cuts. And my staff and I are behind you 100%. Uh, I guess that'd be 90% now. <laughs> That's good. I really appreciate that, Bill. Well, oh, shoot. What's wrong, sir? Uh, you know, I'm afraid everything in this office still has a tendency to break to the right. <laughs> Myself. <laughs> Weirdly, you got guts. You know, they're letting people go right and left around here, and you come waltzing in two hours late from lunch? Well, yeah, don't blame me. Blame the system. Every four or eight years, the incumbents are out, the new ones come in. All over the country they come, leggy, young, wide-eyed, idealistic. Leggy women. <laughs> yeah. 
They just need somebody to show them the ropes. I'm just doing my duty. It's just what this town needs. One more horny patriot. <laughs> Tell them we'll be there just as soon as we can. Oh, there you are, Bradley. I spend all morning monitoring ways and means. I have enough paperwork here to keep me till midnight. And you? You take a three-hour lunch? You really should learn to manage your time better. <laughs> You're right. From this moment on, no more three-hour lunches, no more personal phone calls, and you will torture the women of Washington on your own time. Here, I want you covering the Appropriations Committee. Well, I'd love to, Jordan, and I'm really responding to this new attitude. <laughs> you know, darn it, I am the uh, press secretary. I handle the media, and that's all I do. But hey, here's a compromise. Let Sophie do it. Hey, 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 don't you dump that stuff on me. Really, I'm already handling labor, energy, and agriculture. I put in so much time here, I didn't even know who's on L.A. law anymore. <laughs> yeah, looks like it's up to you, Jordan. <laughs> They've got to find a cure for PMS. <laughs> you ready to talk yet? Uh, give me another eighth of a mile. Okay, I'm ready to talk. Everybody is working their tails off around here, except for Bradley, who won't lift a finger to help anyone else. We are understaffed, overworked, and Bradley and his hormones pick this moment to start chasing around all the new women in town. Why, the little devil. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just, uh, just remembering when I was sowing my wild oats. I was a senior in law school. We'd just gotten done with our finals. So a bunch of the boys and I, we grabbed a, a Greyhound bus up to Lake Erie. Does this have anything to do with Bradley? No. Anyway, <laughs> we got to the lake, and the ice was just breaking up. So we pitched our tent on shore, and there they were. The girls' field hockey team from William and Mary. <laughs> My God, I, I just live for your stories. Now, what about Bradley? Oh, come on, Jordan. You're my chief of staff. If you have a problem with Bradley, work it out yourself. Now, how about dinner tonight? Let me get this straight. You'll support me on any decision I make. Sure, go ahead. Pick the restaurant. <laughs> no, no, I mean about Bradley. Oh. Oh, yes, uh, yes, of course. Bradley, get in here. In a minute. Lisa, Bradley Grist here. We should talk later. Call you back. Bradley, if you won't handle the appropriations committee, you're fired. Fired? <laughs> Can you believe her, sir? And they said Winnie Mandela was unstable. No. <laughs> we didn't say anything about fired. Senator, you made a promise. Now, either you support me or I quit. Well, uh, this is getting a little out of hand. No, oh, let her go, Senator. It's my savvy, your savoir faire that keeps us ahead of the pack here. <laughs> yeah, sure, she can get in the locker room, but she can't compete in the showers. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand what that means. But Jordan is my chief of staff. I trust her judgment. I will... Also abide by her decision. And my decision is, you're fired. I'm sorry, Bradley. Well, talk about abuse of power. I've had it. If you think I'm going to drop to my knees and grovel like a whimpering schoolgirl, you've got another thing coming. Goodbye. Gotcha. <laughs> you're still fired. <laughs> Oh, Bill, I know you're upset about Bradley, sweetie. Say, why don't you filibuster in the Senate today? That always puts you in a good mood. <laughs> That's a good idea. You know, I don't mean to brag, but Sam Nunn says that I can go on and on about nothing better than anybody in the Senate. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Daddy, Mommy, wait till 
tell you here. You are not going to believe what I have to tell you. And it was all my idea. Theodore is so proud. Look at him. <laughs> well, he looked prouder at home. <laughs> what is your news, Caitlin? Out with it. Okay. It's so exciting. You are not going to believe it. She's going to work for Dad. Thanks a lot, Pierce. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mother, but you told me to be more assertive. Mm -hmm. That's only when I'm talking. <laughs> Well, good for you, Caitlin. Going to work. Well, if you'll excuse me, so am I. Have a good day, darling. Okay. I'll go with you. Um, Pierce, good. You, you, you want to ride to school? Oh, yeah, sure. So Caitlin is going to work for you? Boy, are you in trouble. Yeah, that's what I told him. <laughs> so, you're going to work, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, Mommy, it's thrilling. It's an opportunity for me to be productive, to be part of America's workforce. Oh, please. I've tried it. Mommy, you work? Mm, yes, in my father's office. For one day and only till noon. <laughs> well, working's very in right now. Everyone's doing it, especially Hillary Clinton. She's in on every meeting and every decision. They're molding the future of America as a couple. Oh, Caitlin. Please, now be honest. You haven't got the slightest interest in working. You just want to emulate Hillary. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you probably think you'll be the talk of Washington because you're the first one to follow her lead. Uh-huh. <laughs> you think it'll set a pattern that'll sweep through the Congress and the press will have a field day and you'll be all over the papers. I love this idea. <laughs> If only I had thought of it sooner and worked for your father before, he'd be president now. Mommy, it's not too late. Oh, but you said you don't like working. Well, I love it when people are working for me. I intend to run your father's office as smoothly and efficiently as I run Charlotte in this house. Whoa! <laughs> ma'am. Today we have orange fried chicken, orange ravioli, orange kebab, and orange all the king. I think I'll have the orange soup. And the chicken a la ranch. Aren't you lucky? At Minute Maid, we know more about oranges than anything else. He's new. Ooh, nice tie. Love your sweater. That's why for 40 years, Minute Maid has been America's number one orange juice. He'll learn. Minute Maid. We pour every ounce of ourselves into our juice. Red Lobster introduces the Summer Seafood Feast, just $9.99, with grilled scallops, fried clams, a fish fillet, plus two kinds of shrimp, scampi and fried shrimp. Five kinds of seafood, just $9.99 at Red Lobster. When you walk into Kmart, one of the first things you'll notice is a whole new look in their fashion. I think it's great tie. This is wonderful. Yeah. I could talk forever about the styles and the quality, but you really have to see, touch, and feel for yourself. I love that. My newest collection features color-coordinated separates and soft woven fabrics. This is in the right direction. More and more women are proud to say, I got it at Kmart. As a smart shopper, I did some checking before choosing a yeast infection cure. My doctor says my Select 7 has the same full prescription strength medicine as Gonalotrimin, and it costs less. So my choice, my cure, is my Selects. Is your neighborhood hazardous to your health? No matter where you live, pollution may threaten your life. Who's most at risk? The answer on America Close Up, NBC Nightly News, Monday. Uh, yeah, Bradley Griss for Dave Coulter, please. Yes, I can hold. <laughs> Dave! Hey! Listen, word has it there may be an opening at state. Well, yeah, if you could, please. 
Yeah. Hey, by the way, I heard about you and Alice splitting up. I gotta say, you're so much better off without her. You know, what a tramp. Ah, <laughs> oh, you patched things up, did you? <laughs> Listen, say, say hello to Alice. <laughs> Everybody else says. <laughs> now, Bill, back to work. All right, Margaret. And no more personal calls. <laughs> Everybody. Sophie, Jordan. It's no wonder this country's in trouble. Nobody does anything around here. Taking coffee breaks, hanging around in the storeroom, going to the bathroom whenever the mood hits you. Hi. Mrs. Powers, I'm Walt Stevens from the Post. Yes? We have an interview. Oh, darn, I was just on my way out for lunch. I completely forgot. Now, you don't want to be late for lunch. You go ahead. I'll talk to Walt. Uh, Jordan, just sharpen the pencils. I can handle the press. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm Margaret Powers, the woman behind the man. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. This is the 90s, the woman beside the man. <laughs> Shall we? Thanks. Now, um, Walt, you probably want to know how Hillary Clinton has inspired me to dedicate myself to the American dream by working beside my husband. Not really. <laughs> Mrs. Powers, why is your husband supporting the president's national health care program? <laughs> oh, well, um... <laughs> it, uh, it is the president's proposal. And um, the, the four of us are, are very close. And my Bill simply hates it when he's sick. So, of course, he has this tremendous empathy for sick people. <laughs> Next question. So the only reason he's supporting the bill is out of friendship with the president? Oh. Well, no, for heaven's sakes, the senator has a mind of his own. He calls things as he sees them. How does he see them? <laughs> Clearly and brilliantly. <laughs> Next question. See, what confuses me, Mrs. Powers, is your husband was quoted in the AMA bulletin as having many reservations about the president's program. Oh, ah, uh, well. Yes, of course, he, he would have uh, some problems with the program, naturally. So he's against it? Mm. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> Is the president aware how the senator feels? Maybe. <laughs> that should do it. Oh, well, uh, look, I hope I've been able to give you uh, the information that you needed. Say, this isn't going to be a negative story, is it? Mm, maybe. <laughs> well, I'll be back around two martinis. I don't know how she's going to down those martinis with that big foot in her mouth. <laughs> Guess what? Margaret just reversed your position on the president's health care plan to Walt Stevens. What? You let her talk to Killer Stevens? I couldn't stop her. Darn it, Jordan. I should never have let you fire Bradley. If he was here, he would have kept Margaret away from that, that shark. All right. Oh, oh, all right. All right. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. We're going to do two things. Now, first... You're going to rehire Bradley so we could fix this thing with Stevens. And then, then you're going to go out there and you're going to fire my wife. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Excuse me, sir, but I've tried to fire her nine times and she's still there, so unless you've got a silver bullet, it's your turn. All right, I'll try to do what I can to handle Margaret. Now, can I trust you to make things right with Bradley? Of course, I'll just tell him we need him back, then stand there while he ridicules and humiliates me. Then I'll go home, down six shots of tequila, and pray for a meteor to fall from the sky and destroy all human life as we know it. That's what I'm going to do, too. This one's a little loud, but it fits so well. <laughs> This one is absolutely perfect for meetings. It's expensive, but not ostentatious. Okay, it is, but I love it! <laughs> this one is my absolute favorite. It screamed out at me, Caitlin, I am you. We are one. Take me with you. So I did! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I have the most perfect accessory for my new wardrobe. A Gucci lunch pail. How chic. I know! <laughs> Caitlin, Caitlin, dearest. I, I know you're very excited, darling, because tomorrow is your first day at work, but I think we may be making a mistake working for our husbands. Whatever do you mean, uh, Mom? I'll let you in on a little secret, darling. There's a lot more clout in being the wife of a senator or a congressman than there is in being a civil servant. Servant? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, darling. And it's all so tedious. It just lulls you into this state of oblivion. I hate oblivion. <laughs> I myself have come to a very, a very difficult decision, darling. I have decided to resign my position in your father's office. You're going to resign? Yes, I know. It will break his heart. <laughs> but I, I feel I should do it now, before he gets too dependent on me. Uh-huh. Hi, Mother. Hi, Grandma. Hi, darling. Sorry I'm late. I was picking up Pierce. Good. Oh, and Theodore, about working with you, I quit. <laughs> Mother, you never even started. One more word out of you, mister, and you can kiss that snare drum goodbye. <laughs> darling, uh, shall I have these clothes sent back to Neiman's? Yes, I hate them. <laughs> oh, Pierce, I have something for you. This will make the other kids at school incredibly jealous. Oh, Gucci. This should really help my inferiority complex. I don't know what you did to make her quit, but I just want to say thank you. <laughs> oh, Bradley, thanks for coming. How you doing? Never better. Yeah, top of my game. Got a new job, big job. Doing a little lobbying for the poultry industry. Oh, good. <laughs> you know, because I heard you were working the counter at Bucket of Clucks. <laughs> oh, Sophie, it's a living hell. <laughs> oh, weirdly. <laughs> but you know, the reason I called you is because Jordan needs to talk to you. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, she's in the senator's office. All right. Hey, don't touch that. It's Diane Feinstein's Cajun thighs. <laughs> Bradley. Jordan. <laughs> so, how's the new job? What have you heard? Nothing. It's great. <laughs> Listen. I know that 
You and I haven't gotten along very well. Hey, come on. People have disagreements. Exactly. So? You gonna hire me back? Yeah. <laughs> is great. I am so happy right now. Thank you. Thank you. And things are going to be different around here. I'm a team player now. Hey, see you tomorrow, boss. Gotcha. <laughs> Couldn't get along without me, could you? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you know, Margaret, been terrific working with you. I couldn't agree more. It's been nothing short of wonderful. I don't know why we didn't think of it earlier. <gasps> yes, I feel like we've wasted 26 years. Me too. <laughs> and I am better for the experience. It's been a terrific one. Mm. More wine, sweetheart? I'd love some, darling. <laughs> you know, Margaret, we're going to look back on this with such fond memories. I know. It's been a wonderful experience for me. It's meant so much. I'm really going to miss you. And I you. <laughs> Are you firing me? Well, no, darling. You're quitting. <laughs> no. You're firing me. No, you're quitting. <laughs> you are firing Margaret, me. Margaret, you are quitting, and that is that, and I don't want to hear any more about it. Charlotte, bring me that tequila. <laughs> Where are you, sir? <laughs> Up next on Channel 3 News, a man takes a dive off of Flats Bridge after a dare. Police are dragging the river for his body. We'll introduce you to not one, but four bundles of joy. And we show a dramatic river rescue and lots of folks boycott Disney World today. We'll tell you why. That plus Doppler 3 forecast next. You want healthy, shiny hair? It comes from the inside out. My hair wasn't always so healthy. Now I use Pantene Pro-V Shampoo and Treatment Conditioner every day. Pantene Pro-V has special provitamins. They penetrate to improve hair all the way to the tips. So what you get is healthy, shiny Pantene hair. Pantene Pro-V, for hair so healthy it shines. Don't go another day without it. It's amazing how it grew and grew. That little company you started in your garage. And now you've got an automobile whose drive for quality matches your own. The Buick Park Avenue Ultra. With its supercharged engine, the Park Avenue Ultra is proof you still take pride in what comes out of your garage. beautiful thief lured into a world of intrigue and deception. A seductive world premiere thriller, South Beach, NBC Sunday. Now stay tuned for your local news. Hey Katie, hey Brian, what a difference today makes. Here from the Washington...